we studied two-dimensional particle equilibrium earlier. In two-dimensional particle equilibrium, we can write one vector or two scalar equations. We sum up the forces along x and y axis and get two equations. We can then solve for two unknowns. There is no moment equation because we deal with particle. We also studied three-dimensional particle equilibrium later. In such 3D problems, we can write three scalar equations. We sum up the forces along x, y, and z axis. We can then solve, solve for the three unknowns. There is no moment equation because we are still dealing with particle. We then moved on to two-dimensional rigid body equilibrium. Since we can't ignore the dimensions of a rigid body, we should account for the moment. So we ended up having three equations. Two equations account for the translations along x and y axis and one for the moment about the z axis. Now we are going to study the most general case of three-dimensional rigid body equilibrium. As you can imagine, in this case, we can write three equations summing up all the forces along x, y and z axis. And we can also write three more moment equations about x, y and z axis. So in total, we will have six scalar equations and we can solve for six unknowns. A typical 3D rigid body equilibrium can be as simple as considering the branch of a tree to which we apply certain force. Recently, I was in the Amazon forest. I had a chance to visit the floodplains and even climb some trees with my friends. Here are a few photos. One showing the tree partially submerged in the water. Another one gives a closer look at the branch structure. A simple model of the tree is like a bent rod fixed at the ground with forces applied at the top end of the rod as shown here. The tree is supported at the ground and we will assume that as a fixed support. For the tree to stay in static equilibrium, when we are up and standing on the tree, the ground must produce enough reaction. As you know, a fixed support eliminates all motions and produces six support reactions. To determine these reaction forces, we will need six equations. We will solve this problem in the next video.